Okay, this video is going to show you how to install uh, our support for Jupyter Notebooks, and uh, it is going to require that you have uh, a copy of Anaconda installed on your computer. So if you don't already have it, uh, you should go to uh, continuum.io, downloads, uh, and get the, the package that is right for your system. Okay, once it's installed, all right, the, the uh, folks at uh, Anaconda have a package manager, all right, similar to PIP or any other package manager, and we're going to call it here to install R and R Essentials. All right, so uh, this installs a copy of R, so you don't already have to have that, uh, and it installs... Uh, somewhere around 80 packages that are commonly used with with R. All right, and the the switch C here just asks it to look through uh, several URLs to find all the packages it needs. Okay, and it should start to go and find the packages it needs, and it'll take just a little bit to install all these 80-odd packages. Okay, it looks like I have to update my conda first, but now it's going through and installing everything. All right, the nice thing about working with a, a Jupyter Notebook is it makes it easier to share your, your work uh, with pretty much anybody, all right, and uh, the, the raw file format of a, of a Jupyter Notebook uh, is JSON, and that means that it's pretty easy to do uh, version control with. Okay, once it's finished installing, we can just then fire up Jupyter. All right. Okay, and then when you click on new, you should see R added to the list of whatever Python installation you chose. And just to give a quick demonstration, Right, to execute the cell, I'm going to hold the shift and press the enter key. Okay, so I hope that helps uh, you install some R support in Jupyter Notebooks.